Hi. It's been a long time since I uploaded my last narrated video. Since then, I've been writing and discarding scripts for a new one. In fact, I just discarded the original intro of this video. Anyway, do you remember this? I said I was working on a new video series. And by working, I mean constantly discarding ideas. Yeah. Well, I wanted to make this. Retrospectives about video games and maybe TV shows. I want to make retrospectives focusing on some things in particular about one product, from technical characteristics to personal experiences. Seeing that many of you like to sit metal, I wanted to start this series with something I hope you would like to, something as energetic and equally intriguing. I really like David Simansky's video games. Did I say that correctly? They have this super gloomy atmosphere. Dusk eats like Quake on steroids. It's very fast, with super smooth controls and pretty Quake looking graphics. That's nothing bad. It combines perfectly with the atmosphere of the game. Just like Black, Dusk has this really spooky atmosphere thanks to its environment, design and sound effects. and adding the premise, which is weird, but simple. You wake up here. Kill the intruder. These guys want you dead in a barn in the middle of nowhere. And these things want you dead too. That's how the game begins without much information for a long time. But it's fine. This game, just like the cool shooting missiles car saga, doesn't stand out for its lore, stands out for its gameplay and soundtrack. Accompanied by songs that are not for nothing fantastic, energetic, and frightening. Well, the composer is Andrew Hulshaw, responsible for musicalizing this game. Well, the DLC of this game. Well, parts of the DLC of this game. More importantly, right now, blood swamps. And guess what? There's a ton of blood and swamps in dusk. At first, it looks like Dusk ain't too friendly for players who are unfamiliar with this type of boomer shooters. But I dare to say that actually it's the best option to start playing this kind of games. Unlike other modern arena shooters, there's no special abilities. In Dusk, there are no freeze grenades, neither glory kills, nor double jump or wall ride. The game is reduced to a few buttons, move and shoot. And the interact button. That doesn't mean it's simple. Just like the first Doom, its difficult depends on how well you know your arsenal, the environment, and your enemies. Each weapon the game offers you accomplishes one important role. It's not like Half-Life 2, 
that after completing Ravenholm, you won't be using the pistol ever again. Or like Postal Brain Damaged, where after starting the third chapter, you realize you can complete the game only using the Cat Trower weapon. In Dusk, every weapon works at every level. For instance, the Super Shotgun does not obscure the Akimba shotguns, because of their reloading speed and good accuracy, and not always you would like to be face to face against an enemy. And the same happens to every other weapon, even the pistols keep being useful until the end of the game. I feel like this importance is due to the enemies. These monsters, zealots and aberrations contribute a lot to the atmosphere. There's a few that make your skin crawl just by listening to them. They also play an important role, either chasing the player or diverting his attention so that enemies with greater power can score a critical hit. As you progress, you begin to realize how important some enemies are. You will realize which weapon you need to use, depending if the enemy is important or not. In conclusion, the learning curvature is quite good. Everything depends on what you learn during the game, and the game gradually teaches you and demands a little bit more while you progress. I will say that the weakest points of the game are the bosses. There's a few of them, and their battles are reduced to shoot them until they are dead. Anyway, I really recommend this game. It is a good option if you want to learn more about this type of shooters. Has a lot of replayability with achievements and survival mode. And if you already play it, comment your experiences. I will be really happy to read them. I would like to keep talking about Dusk but I don't want to have too many spoilers on these videos. I'm really sorry for taking this long to upload a new video. I have a huge creative block. But I hope you like this video. Comment! Depending on you, gamers, I will try to focus on something more to your liking. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you, hopefully soon. Ciao!